Hello and welcome to this lesson on how to play the song Please Please Me by the Beatles. Um, this is not going to be in the original key that the Beatles did the song, that key was E, because I'm catering specifically for young children singing the song, so I've had to shift it up to uh, the key of G, so apologies if you're looking for a, a version in the original key E, uh, this isn't it. Um, like I say, it's in the key of G, and uh, this is the easy version of the guitar uh, music. So we're going to do uh, a five easy chords. I'm going to show you those chords up really close now. So first up we have the easy G or G major chord and the formula for this chord is OG plus OB plus 3E. So in other words you play open G, open B string and the third fret of the E string and those three notes played together give you the chord G or G major. Then we have a C major or C chord. The formula for this chord is OG plus 1B plus OE. So open G, first fret of the B string, open E. Looks like that. We have an A, a minor chord, AM it looks like on the page, which is the same as the C, but you've got your second finger on 2G as well. So the formula is 2G plus 1B plus open E. Three strings play for that. Then we have E minor, we love this chord because it's the easiest chord on the guitar. The formula is OG plus OB plus OE, so you simply play the three strings nearest the floor. And we have uh, the D chord, and the formula is OD, so no fingers on the D string, open D, 2G, 3B, 2E. Open D string, second fret of the G string, third fret of the B string, second fret of the little E string, strum the four strings nearest the floor. And the formulae for those chords are, uh, you can find at the top of the first page. Show you once again, so G chord, or G major, C chord, or C major. We have A minor, E minor, and D, commonly known as D major. And those are the chords for the easy version of the song. If you know the bigger versions of the chords, G and C and A minor and E minor, that's absolutely fine, by all means do them. But as I say, this, this uh, tutorial is specifically catering for the easy version of the song. Now like I said earlier, the key of E, the original key, is too low for children to sing this song in. So I've moved it up uh, to the key of G, to key of G major. And if you look at the song sheet, uh, page one, where it says intro, you can see you're going to play G, 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 G. Play the G chord four times. And you perhaps notice there I played the D string as well. That's actually fine. You can play, you can play four strings. Um, technically, you only need to play the three strings nearest the floor. But if you want to play the four strings nearest the floor, that's absolutely fine. So you're counting sort of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And it says or three E, two E, O E, three B. O, E, 3, B, O, B, O, G, times 2, which gives you this. Now that introduction um, is played on harmonica and doubled up on the guitar. And the timing is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, and 3, 4, 1. 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, and 3, 4, 1. So you come in on beat 2 of the bar, 3E is my code for 3rd fret of the E string, 2E, 2nd fret of the E string, uh, OE, open E string, so the first three notes uh, are all on the E string, running down through the G major scale, and we have 3B, 3rd fret of the B string, there's a little gap, go back to the open E, back to the 3B, open B, or OB, OG, or open G. So basically, it's a bit like um, a set of bells, isn't it, in the key of G major. And you play it times two, you play it twice, and it's okay for that open G to ream uh, at the end of the first time while you replay the three E, two E, etc. So you can have this kind of thing. And have a listen to the recording. Uh, on the Guitars Are Cool site, which is www.guitarsarecool.com. Uh, go to Video Lessons and Audio, scroll down to uh, Please Please Me, and you'll see an audio track uh, for this song. 
that I got my uh, daughter Lauren to sing for me in the corrected key of G major. So that's your intro or introduction. And then we got verse one. Last night I said these words to my love. Wait. I know you never even tried love. Now you notice the G chord just before the first word last is in brackets. That's because if you were going. up on the open G. That open G right at the end goes at the same time as that first chord in the verse, so you can't do both, okay? So you might want to go Last night I said, and on the word said, uh, strum the G chord. And by the way, on that intro, use third finger behind the third fret, second finger behind the second fret, and so on. So in verse one, uh, just say you're strumming all the chords, you've got G, G, then you've got a quicker change, C, G. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the C to the G, uh, you play the C chord on beat one of the bar and the G chord on beat three of the bar. So you, you play two chords in one bar. It says wait, because there's a bit that goes, which is pretty hard. Um, three uh, quite hard chords, um, B flat, C and D all the same shape. If you know those kind of chords and you're a more advanced player, you're welcome to put those in, but not for you if you're a, uh, an inexperienced player. Then the next line. I know you never even try love. And the same again, G, G, C, G. Now that little lead guitar riff in the brackets there, three E twice, open G twice, open D. And notice the E string is capital E string, so the, the E string there is the ceiling. Come on, 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 come on. So there you've got C, A minor, E minor, C, this is the bridge. The bridge is the bit that kind of bridges uh, the verse to the chorus glues the two things together. So you've got the C chord, these are all four beats each by the way. C chord, hold on to that finger, add the second finger to turn the chord into A minor, take the fingers off to turn it into E minor, come back to the C chord. Come on, 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 and chorus one. Please, please me, whoa, yeah, like I please you. The G chord has four beats, the C and the D have got two beats each. That's the first time we played the D chord, isn't it? And that's that quite tricky chord I showed you earlier in the uh, video. Uh, so C, D, one, two, three, four, and then hold the G chord for four beats, and again play C to D, or if you prefer it, instead of playing the C to D chord, do the intro pattern, but only once. So if you're gonna do that, your chorus will be Please, please me, whoa, yeah, like I please you. You don't need me to show the way, love. Wait for those hard chords. Why do I always have to say love? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So you've got verse two, another bridge, another chorus, chorus two. At the end of chorus two, you can either play the G chord on the final word you. Please, please me, whoa, yeah, like I please you. Uh, or you can play to that rundown. But it's kind of a truncated version of the original one, isn't it? Just really shortened. Please, please me, whoa, yeah, like I please you. There's nothing really stopping you doing both, the chord and the rundown. Go to the second page and the middle section of the song. I don't want to sound complaining, but you know there's always rain in my heart. In my heart, I do 
all the pleasing with you It's so hard to reason with you Oh yeah, why do you make me blue? So the middle section of the song C chord held for four beats D chord held for four beats Then the C, G Two beats each One, two, three, four And another G chord held for four beats For the in my heart C chord four beats D chord four beats G chord four beats C, D, two beats each G chord and you can go C to D again or you can do the first three Last night I said these words to my love Wait for the hard chords I know you never even tried a little pattern The final chorus, stroke ending. Please please me, whoa yeah, like I please you. Me, whoa yeah, like I please you. Me, whoa yeah, like I please you. So that final chorus, we're just strumming chords, is G chord, C and D two beats, G chord, C and D two beats each, G chord. C and D two beats each and the G chord held for eight beats and you end on another G chord. Now if you want it says instead of the following six chords C D G C D G in other words look at the last two lines instead of playing the chords there you might want to do that the intro riff twice and just play the very final G chord. So in that case, your final chorus will be, please please me, whoa yeah, like I please you. Wait the eight beats and play the G chord. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to strum along uh, with the recording I've made so you can see how it all fits together. section Now, if you want to do uh, some of those extra bits, um, I'll sort of go through those um, fairly briefly. Uh, this is for very advanced players only. So when you got to the end of the first line of the verse, Last night I said these words to my Right, the shape is, uh, it's a B flat, first finger, first fret of the E, second finger, 
third fret of the D, third finger, third fret of the G, fourth finger, third fret of the B. And you do that shape, move it up two frets for a C chord, move it up two frets for a D chord. Two downs on each chord, and then down, up, down, up, down on the third chord. And pretty hard to do that is. And the strumming, if you do the full strum, so kind of down, up, down, up, up, down, nice sort of um, full flowing strum. You need the bigger chords for this, of course. Before you do that, you need a down, up, down, up, down on the G chord. Quite fast. Come on. You need a, a harmonica in the key of G to, if you want to do the harmonica as well, and fit it onto a, a harness and, and play it at the same time. Um, middle section. Same sort of thing, nice full strum. On the very end of the song, uh, where it says, me well yeah like I please you, G chord, wait eight beats, then another G chord. This is what you play, you play G, B flat, B flat, D, G. So the G chord, B flat, which I showed you earlier, E flat, which is a D chord moved up a fret, then you play D itself, and then you come back to G. The E flat is actually better if you put your little finger on the fifth fret of the D as well. So it's a D shape, but on frets three and four, little finger on five D. So you'll go two beats on each chord. Not not a full strum, just single strums. As I say, all that stuff on the end there. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Only if you're a, a pretty advanced player, more for a teacher than a, a student, I guess. So a great song, uh, The Beatles' first number one, of course, back in 1963, which at the time of doing this video uh, is just about 50 years ago. So it's pretty scary, isn't it? So if you want to do this song in the key of E, you've got to move all that down uh, a little bit, but uh, not something I'm going to deal with here, obviously, because I don't want to confuse my young students. But uh, it's nice in the key of G, and even for a grown-up, it's nice and comfortable to sing. So I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>